Hi, I'm Camille from Camille's Farm Ideas, and today I have a singing time lesson plan for teaching the primary song, Jesus Has Risen. Now, to start, you'll just need to gather eight plastic Easter eggs. And inside these Easter eggs, you'll be placing eight strips of paper. Now, these strips of paper have questions regarding the song. Now, to get the strips, you just can follow the link below to get all that information. And then you'll also need a picture of Christ, one for each child. Now, I just have this as a quick printable, also at the link below. I printed these on cardstock. I wouldn't re recommend laminating because they're just kind of a one-time use. But if you need to find pictures of Christ just around the house or from the library, you just need one for each child. So just depending on how you do that, make it as easy as you need. I printed these on cardstock. Anyway, so once you have your pictures of Christ and your Easter eggs filled with the strips of paper, you'll want to hide the Easter eggs around the primary room. Now, depending on the size of your primary, that will depend on how you hide them. If you have a large primary, you probably don't want the kids wandering around, so you want to put the eggs maybe in plain sight so that the children can find them from their seats. If you have a smaller primary and you don't mind one or two children wandering around for, to find each egg, totally up to you. Now the egg hunt just kind of provides a little bit of movement, a little bit of excitement. So do it, do what works best for your primary. So to start your lesson plan, you're gonna pass out your picture of Christ to each child. And to introduce it, you're going to have you and the teachers sing the song. I like to post a little flip chart on the, flip chart on the board, or you can just post the words so you and the teachers can sing. Or you can even have the children watch the sing-along video of the song, whatever you prefer. For this singing time, I'm, I would recommend just doing the flip chart on the board so you and the teachers can sing, and it kind of gives a good visual for the children. Um, anyway, so you're going to have the children with their pictures of Christ. They're going to listen for how many times the name or names, multiple names of Christ, are sung and that includes his pronouns so and every time they hear it they're going to raise their picture they're going to be counting so you want them to know how to tell you at the end how many times we said the name of the savior or reference the savior now what i love to do is we'll go through it and i'll have the wrong answer on purpose so i'll be like i think i only counted six when there's actually eight so let's try it again and then I'll sing it with them and we'll count with them and they'll raise again. Anytime you can get a fun way to repeat a song with the, the kids is a win in my book. So once you've gotten all the names of the Savior, that it's Jesus, Jesus, He, Him, Jesus, Savior, Jesus, Savior. So there's eight total. All right, so that's kind of a quick introduction. Gets the children listening to the song, interacting with the song in, a, in, a, in an engaging way. So then you'll start into finding the Easter eggs. So you'll just tell them that you've hidden Easter eggs around the room and those eggs have questions pertaining to our song, Jesus Has Risen. So however you go about searching, you'll find one egg, bring it up, they'll open it, and make sure you read the question because it has the answer attached to it. So don't let the kids read it. Um, some of the questions... Oh, and then the answers to the questions can all be found in the song. So one of the questions is, the most important message of the song is repeated three times. What is it? And the answer is, Jesus has risen. And then the next one said, the message, Jesus has risen, is so important that the composer placed a fermata. And I love throwing in a little bit of music theory. Like, what's a fermata? You can draw the fermata, the bird's eye, on the board. It's a hold sign on the word risen on one of the repetitions. Listen as we sing again and tell me which repetition has the fermata. So Jesus has risen, has been, it's in the song three times, which one do we hold? And it's the third one. So, and then you'll just sing the song every time to find the answer. So find an egg, sing the song, get the answer. Repeat, and you'll be repeating that eight times. And there's eight questions. They're all very simple to answer. Some of them get the children pitch leading with their pictures of Christ so they'll still need their pictures and again we we pick we pitch lead again the last phrase of the song and then I love the end of one of the last questions and these all be done out of order it doesn't matter which order you're going to but it says Jesus is our savior what else do we call him in this song and the answer is friend and that really gives you an opportunity to bear a testimony that Jesus is our friend and that you know Jesus died and was resurrected because he loves us 
and after we die, we can be resurrected too. So anyway, if that doesn't fill all of your time, which it probably will is my guess, unless you've got super smart children and they just know the answers, um, you can throw in some handbells. Now this handbell chart is for the intro and the ending, um, which I actually love because then you'll get all the kids singing. So and then you can repeat, pass bells around, repeat the song, pass bells around until you're out of time. So that's the singing time lesson plan I have for Jesus Has Risen, and I hope it helps you this week.